Hello, it's Ava here again. I'm in Stockton on Tees at the moment, I'm on Yarm Road and it's a church. Uh, I'm not sure, I think it's St Andrews, but I'll have a look. But there's nothing really that spectacular about this church, but what I've noticed pretty much straight away is these areas here that are really starting to interest me. Uh, I don't think they put up there for decoration and I, I think maybe they were open at one time but we're all I'm not the side of the church but I noticed straight away with a lot of these buildings these windows that are bricked up you know right the way along Say there's nothing really this remarkable about this church. You go up the top. You do have your little antenna up there. And coming down at a lower level, these air bricks. Now I can't see into these air bricks. I'm, I'm starting to come up with my own conclusion about these air bricks as well. Uh, which I'll maybe get onto on a later later video. This is the side of the place. So, I mean, the doorway itself really doesn't look proportionate. You know, the arch. The archway usually takes up like maybe the top third or the top quarter of a door space where, you know, that archway seems to take up half of it. Now, I do know this area. Uh, there's quite a few buildings that have lower levels uh, and I think so there's quite a few of the churches although there's not that much evidence on this one the tower's unspectacular really and I really do wonder whether once over they did have you know, some sort of spire on there I can't get a very good picture of them but there is some rather nasty looking critters up there keep an eye on the place there's one on each corner if that's any significance I don't know and slowly try and come down I'll walk around the outside and then I'll be able to get in the church name but the main reason I'm documenting churches is because it's to try and find evidence to prove the churches weren't built by religion, but merely hijacked by religion. There you go, St Peter's Parish Church. Now this road in itself has about four churches on it. You know, this area, I think there's about seven churches in the space for about 500 yards. The front is pretty uneventful, really. The trees are that thick. But what I do find interesting is not only the little door there it's almost like a little external tower you know you have your window gaps both sides there and you know it's these little things I question why is this necessary for a religious building so I don't actually believe that that's a support a support column but that's just my thoughts Try and move around a bit. I don't think there's that much more to, to be able to see here, but <laughs> I really just wanted to see if I can get a better a look at this column that I was talking about. And this is it, these are these little things that you find in churches that don't really make much sense. See, I don't believe originally that there was glass in there. Uh, I have a few theories I'm coming up with at the moment about these places, but I need a bit more evidence. But this is just a little look at ten people's Look at the church. I used to live sort of 20 yards around the corner from me. See, the doors are 
pretty uneventful but the archway seems disproportionate to the doorway itself as I've already mentioned pigeon there enjoying his stuff so if we come around this side of the building uh, say there's nothing that eventful apart from the tall tail air bricks wherever they are, there's one there's one but the reason why I want to come around this side is to show you quickly rest up against this tree a bit steadier but Double windows, they're bricked up. Way around. See the minutes off, I think that's the first one there. See, I don't think glass was ever the original intention in there. Or that one further up. What is it? I don't think glass was ever the intention. So, we're all out and move on down the road and uh, have a look at another church. The thing I want to mention, I haven't checked the date on this, but I will. Uh, it's bound to have been built in Victorian times, as all the churches in Stockton claim to have built at that time. But that's something else. Uh, We'll be trying to disprove one day. But that's enough for this video. Catch you later. Bye.